So, who was the first person you left? First person? Yeah. My high school sweetheart. What's your name? Chris. Could you tell me more about Chris? It was perfect. From the moment we met, it was like we were perfectly in sync. She knew exactly where I was coming from and didn't judge me for my past. I could be completely honest with her and she would continue to love me the same. I had never experienced that before. It didn't take long for us to get into a relationship. Communication was big with us. If I wasn't over our house then, we were on the phone talking. If we weren't talking on the phone, then I was reading her text. It was then that I, I learned what love felt like. So what happened? Well, I really loved Chris, but I wasn't ready to leave my entire life behind. So I told her that we needed a break. I wanted some space and opportunity to go back to living my life. I prepared myself for the repercussions that I knew would follow. But instead, she said she understood. She wasn't mad or upset. She understood. So we went our separate ways. I slipped back into my old life, which was actually easier than I expected. In fact, it was too easy. I went back to partying, drinking, living my life. Further and further down the rabbit hole I went, I was at my breaking point and didn't even know it. Sounds like you were having a rough time. Yeah, to say the least. But you recovered, right? Well, for a while I didn't. One night I was driving home from a party, completely intoxicated. To be honest, I'm not even sure how I remember it. It didn't take long for me to realize I was lost. I pulled over, trying to gain my bearings. There was something vaguely familiar about the neighborhood. I was outside Chris's house. It was at that moment I realized how much I messed up. She was the void that I needed to fill. Wow, that's really deep. So, what did you do? Well, I called her up and came clean with everything that I was doing. What did she say? Surprisingly, she forgave me. She already knew everything that I was doing. And I vowed never to leave her side. What's going on with you guys now? Well, we've had our ups and our downs. But we've been strong for two years now. Ashley, wait. Wait. What? You're clearly in love with another woman. Chris isn't a woman. Wait, you're... No. What, then? No, no. See, Chris isn't a woman nor a man. Chris is Christ. I found Christ when I was younger, and I was truly burning for him, praying every day, reading his text, attending services. Then there came a point where I slipped back into my old ways. I felt abandoned. But what I didn't realize is that Christ loves me so much that he was with me the whole time. It wasn't until that night where I found myself drunk in front of a church of all places that I fully committed myself to him two years ago. <laughs> so, who was your first love? My first love was Chris. 